Hello lovelies and welcome to Happy by Heather. I am Heather and today I'm going to show you how to make this super fun 3D string decor art, whatchamacallit. So let's get started. First, prep your wood. I stained mine with a black cherry and a walnut stain to get this look right here. After you've done that, find a design you like and print it out. Then grab your hammer, your spare string, some nails, and some tape to tape your design on the wood, like I'm gonna in a minute. Also, go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and some tweezers as well as some pliers to get in between the closer nails later on. Next, hammer the nails around the silhouette of your design. I would suggest picking a design with as few curves as possible for your first project like this. Because fewer curves means less nails, and if you have less nails to wrap the string around, that means you have less of a chance of unraveling this whole project. So just trust me, go for straight line designs for now. After you're done with your silhouette, it's time to tear off the paper and get to wrapping our string. So I start the string by adding a dab of hot glue and then wrapping the end of the string around one nail. And then I'm just gonna go around the whole heart and wrap the string around each nail one time. I'm then gonna take the string and go around each of the nails one more time. This time, rotating the opposite direction around the nails so it creates two strings, kinda like a double outline. When I've reached the end of this part of my design, I'm going to add another dab of hot glue and then wrap this string around that one nail a couple times and cut it off. This is also where the tweezers come in handy. They help to kind of seal that last bit of string so it doesn't fray. Now, for the outline of my current home state, Tennessee, it is literally the exact same process. Glue, wrap, rotate, and repeat. I think you can just see it a little bit better because this outline is more widespread and it has straighter lines, so it's a little bit easier to see me rotating. Also, you will notice that I do add more glue to this one. That's because I'm super nervous about unraveling this. And what do I mean by unraveling? You have to keep the tension on the string that you're holding very tight because if it's not tight, it could come unraveled from the previous nails. And I don't think I have an example of that in this video, but trust me, I've done it plenty of times. It happens to everyone, especially if you pick a design that has lots of curves in it. All right, so as I wrap up, <laughs> get it, wrap, wrap up the finishing touches on my Tennessee outline, I'm just gonna put another dab of hot glue and cut it off. You can see it comes out pretty good like this. And we could actually leave it just like this, but since I love a little pop of color, I'm gonna throw some red on those edges or reddish pink, I don't know, let's see. And here's my magically cleaned work area. This looks pretty incredible so far, so I think it's time to go seal it. Put some gloss on it, and while that's drying, I'm gonna grab my hanging kit and grab my fancy new power drill I just got myself. Yep, that looks pretty amazing. I am super happy with how that turned out. But, time to put on the hanging kit. Well, 
Well, there you have it. I am super happy with how this craft came out and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. You know the usual YouTube spiel as well. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, I put out new crafty videos every Friday. If you want to see something every day to fuel your crafting inspiration, follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Happy by Heather. But thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, stay crafty.